Hey there. Thank you very much for joining today. My name is Barry Rapkin. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of Identify Technologies. And uh, our company has been featured by TEDx, NBC, CNN, Inc., the Pittsburgh Business Times, UAS Magazine, TechCrunch, and South by Southwest. It is my pleasure to speak with you today. I'm going to be telling you a little bit how drones are being used uh, for commercial purposes in industry, where drones came from, uh, the basics you need to know about drones, and then, of course, uh, how drone accuracy compares for mapping uh, versus traditional methods. If you have questions uh, as we're going through today's session, please feel free to enter them in the, uh, in the box below the video. And uh, I'll either answer the questions uh, as we go through the presentation, or I'll answer them in the Q&A session at the end. So the first thing I want to discuss is why most of you are here, um, which is to acknowledge the issue that most construction projects end up running later than preferred or than planned and, and over the initial budget. And a big part of that is because project managers are asked to do an impossible job. They have to go to war with a mountain of paperwork, an army of contractors, uh, keep everyone communicating, keep everyone doing their job and doing it right. And uh, to do that, you're expected to have perfect visibility to every change on every inch of a massive job site, potentially multiple job sites. And it's it's really tough. You know, you can't be three places at once. You Some job sites might be five acres, 50 acres, 500 acres. And to, to be tracking all that, with rapidly changing contractors, equipment, and building projects is really, really tough. And largely, sites are still managed the same way today that they were 20 or 30 years ago. It's construction managers walking around with clipboards and uh, rolled up paper blueprints. And um, you know, if you think about how hard it would be to do your job using the same technology you were using 20 or 30 years ago, no, no cell phones, no email, no, uh, no laptops, you know, it, it would really make things a lot more challenging to do uh, to be competitive in modern business. And the only real other alternative is aerial overhead data, um, but unfortunately, that's rarely captured because of the large costs and delays associated with it. And fundamentally, for anyone, it's impossible to make fast, informed decisions without consistent site visibility. And you're forced really to, to guess with inadequate information that leads to inefficiency because expensive contractors and rental equipment often goes unused due to bottlenecks that could have been prevented. It leads to project delays, waiting for customers to get out to the site to approve portions of work and release funds for the next section. It leads to low profits because when pro projects go over budget, it comes directly out of the construction company's profits. And potentially, unfortunately, it can lead to lost customers if they experience disappointments on their projects, if it uh, goes longer than they were hoping, or if things weren't done exactly the way they wanted. They may stop mid-project, they may not use you again, or they can even file lawsuits. So what are the benefits of drones? They're accurate. Our drones are actually fully automatic. Um, you can get near real-time data. You're not waiting months or weeks to get data back. You're going to have it in, in hours. You get the job site vis visibility you need to track every inch of the project as it, as it matures. And uh, you can securely share it, either to collaborate with your team, to share it with leadership, or to show clients uh, progress and, and make sure it's being done in a way that they feel good about. So who are we? What is Identify Technologies? Um, we build and lease world's only automated project insight system. We work with major companies like uh, EQT, Sunoco, Williams, and we're not a drone company. We're not a service provider. Uh, think of us not like buying a vacuum or um, hiring a maid, but more like a Roomba that uh, you use and will automatically take care of things for you. So again, the agenda for today we're going to go through the basics that everyone should know about drones. 
We're going to talk about how drones are benefiting your specific industry. We'll go through the case study of how drone accuracy compares to standard aerial mapping. Then I'll open it up to general Q&A um, and then uh, offer a special limited time offer just for our live attendees. And uh, as I said before, if you have any questions at all, feel free to enter them in the field below. If I don't answer it immediately, then we'll, we'll get to it in the Q&A. So first off, planes and helicopters are decades old. So why is it that drones are suddenly such a big deal? Well, why, why do you see them in every paper, every magazine? Because the traditional experience for RC planes was uh, this. <laughs> they're really hard to steer. They're flimsy. They're not professional. Uh, you couldn't do anything with them other than fly them around. And uh, they were really just kind of a cheap, simple little toy. So what changed? Why is there a sudden, massive interest in drones? Well, it's a combination of government and private sector innovation coming together. NASA has developed miniaturized flight controllers. The United States Navy uh, developed the GPS systems. These used to be massive um, and only really work in, in ships, but now most of them have them built right into our phones. Uh, you have digital cameras like the GoPro that are high quality and miniaturized and miniaturized sensors in phones like uh, accelerometers and gyroscopes that help the technology know exactly where it is at a given moment. And all those combine with upgraded model aircrafts to give you a really smart, really precise system. And we're seeing early applications for real estate uh, to, to show and inspect roofs, to uh, just show nice photographs to help uh, sell houses. We're seeing it used for sports to get uh, shots that previously you can only capture with a helicopter or a plane. Uh, same for movies and TV commercials. And uh, you're even seeing companies like Amazon experiment with doing deliveries via drone. Drones are being used in agriculture, in construction, in landfills, mining, oil and gas, mapping, and surveying. And a lot of people think, you know, drones are great. Maybe you can snap a couple of photos, get a little video, It'd be fun for my, you know, son's birthday. But it's not really an industrial tool. And a couple of years ago, they were right. But today, you can go way, way beyond photos and video. You can actually automate advanced surveying, mapping, monitoring, tracking, and analytics for job sites. So not only can you capture 2D distance measurements, you can actually get precise 3D volumetric analysis that's useful for cut and fill projects. If you're a mine, it's, uh, you can know exactly what your aggregate piles are. Um, if, if you're doing a big excavation or earth moving project, you can know exactly how much earth you're moving day to day, compare different contractors, compare different job sites, and make sure that you're on track to be done on time. Or if you're not, you can know it and bring in uh, more contractors and more equipment to get the job done in time. We can capture 3D point clouds, contour line maps, digital surface models, or DSM, orthomosaic overlays. We can do site risk prevention and response. Uh, just for example, if you're tracking a pipeline, you can see rust or corrosion. You can see vegetation dying around the pipeline if there's a methane leak. Um, and as you know, I mean, if there's a, a serious issue, just a pipe shutdown can cost a million dollars an hour. A pipeline explosion could potentially be billions, depending on the scale of the project. So being able to automatically track this and treat problems before it's too late has a huge value. And you can also do as-built versus as-planned overlays. So uh, I can take my blueprint and overlay it over the actual job site, showing that everything lines up, everything's being done the way it was planned. Or if there is a problem, I can see it the first day and, and deal with it then before huge time has been invested or the whole thing has to be torn down and, and redone. And in the near future, we're uh, going to be releasing NDVI cameras for more uh, vegetation and agriculture-based projects, um, sense and avoid technology, gas detection, uh, methane sensors, thermal imaging, and multi-spectral cameras. All these are things we're experimenting now. 
and uh, we'll have them at, with a wide commercial release uh, shortly. In terms of what the right drone is for you, well, it really depends on your specific needs. Um, there's dozens of commercial drones, hundreds of general drones on the market, and to find the best one for your application can feel a little bit overwhelming. Um, and the truth is, your perfect drone solution is out there waiting for you, but no single drone is perfect for every application. And it's really about finding the right drone for your specific needs. And uh, if you're the military, that might be a 90 plus million dollar uh, Global Hawk, weighs about 32,000 pounds, uh, can fly for 28 hours uh, at a speed of about 350 miles per hour. Or if you just want a toy that can snap a couple of photos, you do great with the DJI Phantom. Uh, it's around $1,000. And, um, you know, if you just want, again, just something to snap a couple of photos, it's perfect. And that's just more like a, an amateur consumer level model. When you think about, well, how does identified technologies uh, compare to some other options? So that maybe that's aerial survey with a plane or helicopter. Maybe that's a manned survey team. But other ways that you could be capturing data, what, what makes us different? Well. If you do an aerial survey, um, you might be doing it once a month or once a quarter. Uh, most of the people we talk to say it, for a 100-acre site, it's going to cost around fifteen or $20,000. might take a month to book the aerial survey. They're going to gather it pretty quickly in a couple of hours. But then processing the data might take a month or two back. You're looking at about you know, roughly 12 weeks to, to actually, from the time you ask for the data to the time you get it. With a manned survey team, again, might be quarterly for a hundred acre site. It can easily take 20 grand, take a, a month to book, four weeks to gather data on a hundred acre site, and then two weeks to, to process the data together. And then you actually get it back in about two months. And the issue with this is by the time you get the data, if you're on a fast moving job site, if you're getting things done, then that data is two or three months old. It's obsolete. It's wrong. <laughs> it's like trying to drive your car if all you could do is look in the rearview mirror and just see what's behind you, but not what's ahead. And what makes identified technologies different? If you want to, you can chart your your site every week, every day, every hour. We include unlimited updates with a low cost monthly subscription. Um, your booking lead time is basically instantaneous it's it's real time as long as you have a subscription and uh for a 100 acre site we can gather data on the whole thing in under 10 minutes the data processing time takes a couple hours and basically from the time that you want your data to you're actually on your pc or on your tablet accessing it seeing the changes uh that, that have been made it's just a few hours and uh that's really different than any other alternative on the market. Part of what we are is just a general movement in the industry to automate repetitive data capture work. It's more productive, it's more precise, it's more efficient, it's lower cost, and it gives you a constant stream of the data and analytics that you need to do your job and do it right. If you want to build your own drone system, you absolutely can. But you should know uh, some of the checkboxes that, that you need to, to hit if you want to do that. So if you want to build your own internal drone mapping system, you're going to need to get a, a, a Certificate 333 exemption from the FAA to uh, be cleared to do commercial drone work. You're going to need to build a computing uh, data processing center to not only have the, the drone, but uh, to be able to take in all the data uh, geotag it and, and turn it into uh, useful maps, giving all the, the data outputs that we discussed. Uh, you're going to need to either take on the risk of the drone or, or insure it. And you're also going to need to uh, train, hire uh, pilots, and then maintain all the equipment. Once you've done that, you'll need to get KML maps uh, showing the flight perimeter of the areas that you want to map. You're going to have to lay ground control points, create and upload flight plans, fly the drone, uh, geotag the data, transfer the data into your processing center from the drone, process the data, store and manage the data, um, which, you know, some of these may be uh, many, many tens of gigabytes. So you can't just sort of email the files back and forth. And then you need to finally 
analyze and collaborate on the data, which is what it's all about. That that's where you're trying to get to. Um, and if you want to build your own system, these are the steps that you have to do legally and, and just practically. If you decide to use identified technologies, these are the steps. You have to lay a KML with a map perimeter. I'm sorry, you have to choose your KML from the map perimeter, which basically just means send us a Google map showing us the area that you want surveyed. Um, you have to lay ground control points. Uh, that's a one-time thing per job. It just means laying a, an X on the ground um, so we see where the corners of the map are. And the drone flies automatically. Uh, we actually just did a demo in uh, Butler, Pennsylvania recently, and, and we, we had one of the volunteers from the audience uh, uh, activate the drone. It, it was pretty exciting, but it was literally they walked up to it, they pushed the button, and they walked away. That's, that's how you fly the drone. <laughs> and then uh, we take care of everything else. The, the drone will automatically fly the area, capture the data, uh, come back, land itself, scan all the data to the cloud, and then uh, do all the processing. And all you have to do is actually see the data and collaborate with your team on it. There's no manual piloting. It's very scalable. It's a robust commercial grade product that's highly reliable. So again, those steps are you would send us a KML, just a Google map showing us the area that you'd like surveyed. You lay or have, uh, have your team just lay a ground control point. It's literally just a big X, and it can stay there as long as um, you're doing that project. You only have to do it one time. The drone will fly, upload, and process the data, and you get the job site data reports. And it can show you things like earthwork progress, uh, cut and fill heat maps, um, wh whatever you need. And just to fly through it again, some of the uh, data outputs you can get are things like 2D distance measurements, th uh, precision, 3D volumetric analysis, 3D point clouds, contour line maps, digital surface models or DSM, orthomosaic overlays, site risk prevention and response, and as-built overlays and inventory tracking. Uh, I'd like to show you a couple of quick videos just so you can see our system in action. Um, we do demos, so if you are in the Pittsburgh area, I'd, I'd invite you uh, after this presentation, click that Get Free Demo link in the top, and uh, you can come to our next, uh, next live demo and see us in action. Or uh, if you're not in kind of the, the general Pittsburgh area, we actually do virtual demos. Um, in some cases, um, it will also come out for, for demos too if, if you're like a larger organization and there, there's a huge interest. But no matter what, we can do a virtual demo uh, wherever you are in the world and uh, show you more about what our technology can do and learn more about your needs and see if it'd be a good fit. So this is just showing you a little bit about what the experience of using our Boomerang drone is like. It's called the Boomerang because you send it out and it just comes back automatically by itself. You just go through the safety checklist. Like I said, push the button. The drone will take itself off. Fly the area, capturing the data. Come back automatically and land itself. Send the data up to the cloud for processing. You can compare, you know, last week's or, or today's data. Pack it up. Head home. And again, a hundred acre site. You're mapping it in under ten minutes. We can also do uh, 3D maps uh, that where we do fly throughs actually showing the progress and the scale of the area. We 
going to show you a little bit more about uh, what it's like to use our software. Because the drone's cool, but what you really care about is the data. So um, this is actually that Butler site where we just did the demo. And you can track job site progress over time, just jumping from one week to the next, one day uh, to the next. You can do high resolution zoom. It's, uh, it's easy to use, whether on a computer or a tablet. You, you, um, the site's responsive. And uh, again, you can see things like cut and fill maps. Comparing week to week. You do project earthwork charts. Make sure you're on track to hit your goals. Compare uh, weekly progress or look at the total progress over time. And you own your data. We don't own your data. We just hold it as long as you want us to. So you can actually at any point do complete uh, downloads and uh, put the data in, in any kind of processing tool that you prefer to use. I'll show you one other thing. Um, we also have a mobile app available. So even when you're right on the job site, you can still access the information. You could just create a new project. Uh, we're, we're based near Bakery Square. Feel free to come visit us if, uh, if you're ever in the area in Pittsburgh. As we were discussing before, you would select your region of interest. You can see them just laying down the pins. It'll automatically make a grid around it. You would choose your takeoff point in the area, and the software will automatically build a lawnmower pattern to uh, capture all the data in the area as quickly and as efficiently as possible. From there, the drone takes off. Capture the data, comes back, lands, and scans the data up to the cloud for processing, as you saw. So that brings us to our case study of how drone accuracy compares to standard aerial mapping. I'll be discussing uh, a job we did recently for Seneca Resources. Uh, it was uh, an impoundment pond that needed a 3D volumetric measurement. It was in Sargent in McKean County, Pennsylvania. It was a 40-acre site. It took about four minutes to fly. And uh, Seneca used a third-party verification company called Spatial Analytics to compare our data to standard aerial mapping data. So a little bit about Seneca Resources. They're a Pittsburgh-based uh, exploration and production segment of a Houston-based Texas uh, national fuel gas company. Seneca explores for, develops, and produces natural gas and oil reserves in California, Kansas, and the Appalachian region. The more than a century old Seneca is one of the largest mineral rights owners in PA. The company owns approximately 800,000 acres and operates about 3,000 wells in Pennsylvania's shale play. About three quarters of its 200 employees nationwide are right in PA uh, near the Marcellus Shale region. Now, tapping into Pennsylvania's vast natural gas reserves, well being, good corporate citizens, and minimizing impact on the environment is a challenge confronting producers throughout the state and throughout the country and throughout the world. Uh, to that end, Water impoundment ponds are used to store the millions of gallons of water used in the hydraulic fracturing process. The greatest value of these ponds uh, to drilling operations is they allow a natural gas company the ability to run below ground or surface water lines to the well pads, helping to decrease extensive heavy equipment and water truck travel to and from the well sites, 
This uh, reduces logistical costs and reduces damage to rural roadways. So their goal, uh, Seneca's goal, was to quickly uh, do an aerial survey of the under construction water impoundment pond. And to do it, they used a self-piloting boomerang drone, um, which took four minutes for a 40-acre site. Seneca compared uh, the boomerang's results versus a standard aerial result from a, a plane. And it was uh, a fraction of less than half of a percent. But instead of taking uh, roughly two, two or three months to get the data, uh, the mapping was done in four minutes and the data was back within a few hours. So it's, it's really comparable accuracy, uh, still at the sub centimeter precision level, um, but you're getting it 60 times faster. The GIS IP manager at Seneca Resources said, we've never seen anything like this. My team and I were amazed by the speed of the boomerang and the accuracy proved to be more than adequate for our needs. Cutting our survey time down to just a few minutes while maintaining sub-centimeter mapping precision is a game changer. And just to reiterate, 40-acre site, volumetrically surveyed in four minutes compared to usually taking one or two months. And uh, in addition to performing the aerial survey mapping in the 60th of the time, it, the accuracy was absolutely comparable, 99.6% uh, match, still maintaining sub-centimeter precision. So what makes us special? We're the only truly autonomous drone. We have a fully autonomous workflow. We fly safely in rain and 33 mile per hour winds. Uh, it's robust and consistent data capture tool. If something ever happens, let's, let's say it is a little too windy and uh, the, the drone hits a tree and goes down. With our plan, you're automatically uh, get a free overnight replacement included. We have a dock station that will swap out batteries for you. Um, so it's a completely hands-off tool. You don't even have to do that. And our dashboard uh, will allow you to, um, it will process the data into high resolution 2D and 3D maps. And it lets you collaborate and, uh, and analyzes the job site right there in the tool. And uh, you can even send invitations out to your clients, leadership, uh, team members so so they can access a specific piece of the data as well and you can collaborate with them and uh, again you're not locked into this tool it exports to all leading mapping software formats if, if you prefer to use other things you can just port right into them and uh, in terms of how we compare with alternatives on a few different levels well with us you get unlimited updates uh, if you're paying for surveyors, if you're paying for an aerial survey, you're going to be paying every single time. Uh, a standard aerial might be 15 grand, manned survey might be 20. Building out your own system could easily be 100,000 or even 500,000. Um, and all that CapEx is 100% upfront. With us, it's just a lease platform. So you're not buying anything. You just pay for it as you use it and as you need it. And we can get you up and running in about 72 hours. Uh, to build your own system might take six to 18 months from the legal uh, process of getting FAA approval and, and tech set up and uh, scaling it out. We handle all the FAA legal requirements. Well, alternatives don't. And um, we allow you to survey multiple job sites simultaneously and rapidly expand out across your operations. And uh, Enterprise Drones is a journey. We're here to help your business with whatever phase you're at. Uh, even if you're not a good match for us and, and your needs just aren't a good fit, we would love to help be a part of the conversation and point you in the right direction to uh, what will be the right solution for you. We offer webinars, workshops, safety training, um, knowledge on FAA regulations. We include a $5 million general liability insurance. Um, we uh, do local solutions, remote solutions have a full product warranty and premium support. So with that, I wanna thank you. I know you're all busy and uh, I deeply appreciate you taking the time to spend with, uh, with me and with Identify Technology today to learn a little bit more about this technology, where it, where it was, uh, where it is today and where it's going. 
and I want to open it up for Q&A. So if you haven't already, please uh, do take a moment, sign in to the uh, message field below um, so I, I can hear some of your questions. And I'd also invite you, please, uh, if you scroll down just a little bit on the right, there's an option to win a free month of automatic uh, drone survey. It's a $3,500 uh, max value to it. And I want to also congratulate our recent free month winners, uh, GI consultants. So they, they just won a full month of uh, drone mapping with us. Uh, so far, so good that they're enjoying it. And we'd love to make sure you guys are the next winners. So please do, whether it's now or right after this conversation, uh, take a moment, fill out the survey. It helps us know um, what the biggest priorities should be with our technology, uh, what what to add in the, in the short term to, to meet your needs best. And uh, just takes a, a moment or two and you've got a great chance to win a, a free month uh, trial with us. Okay, so with that, I will turn it over to Q&A. And I should say, uh, the CTO, uh, there, there may be that I don't is that LIDAR uh, requires a huge amount of power consumption and uh, is very heavy. Uh, there, there's no super compact, super sort of efficient uh, LiDAR solutions. So we can't offer LiDAR today, but our, our data is comparable to LiDAR. Um, so it's, it's again, it's, it's within, uh, I, I believe, a fraction of a percent. And uh, it's, it's still useful for, for anything you would need LiDAR for. I'll say maybe the one potential exception to that is if you want to get ground uh, information and you were using an aerial solution like uh, like planes or like us, uh, trees might slightly obscure the area. Um, so that would be the only potential caveat. In terms of accuracy, again, we're at a really sub-centimeter level of precision. Um, it's, it's comparable to LiDAR. It's, compl it's uh, comparable to standard aerial mapping. It's just much more affordable and much uh, faster results. One guest asked, can drones or UAVs be used in interior spaces, such as theaters, arenas, uh, underground spaces, um, to map architectural and structural details vertically and horizontally? Uh, that's a great question. In the short term, uh, the answer is no. Uh, in the near term, the answer is yes. So what needs to happen for that is really, really reliable uh, detect and avoid technology. And that's something that we are uh, perfecting. Um, but until we have that perfectly, you risk having a drone, uh, you know, clip a doorway or, uh, you know, bump bump a wall or something like that. So you, you really have to have that at a, at a perfect place. So it, uh, it's smart enough to consistently go through the areas automatically by itself and still avoid any, any potential obstacles or, or even uh, moving obstacles that come in, uh, like, like a bird or something like that. So short term, no, uh, midterm, yes. And, uh, and most of our customers right now are wide open areas, whether it's an excavation project, a construction project, a uh, surface mining project, um, but that's, there's still plenty of opportunity there. Um, we got a question, do you provide the coordinates for the ground control points or does that have to be contracted in advance? Um, yeah, we, we'll, we, we can do that, we can tell you where we'd like the points to be. Um, I believe though, actually, you can tell us too. Uh, so we, either way works there. Um, as long as we have ground control points, we can still have a high degree of precision, uh, whichever way it comes. In terms of how do you get scale? Well, what, what's nice about us is with a lot of solutions, you would have to you know, train pilots at every single site and have them manually 
uh, steer the the equipment. Um, there, there's a lot of training that has to take place and uh, a lot of complications in, in the technology and adoption. With us, you just send out a drone. And, uh, you know, if you're a company with 200 wells or 8,000 wells or, or 20 job sites or 50 job sites or you're in one region or you're all over the world, if you just tell us, hey, next week we, we want to scale you out to five more job sites, it's done. And now you're mapping five more job sites. It, it is that easy. Um, and that's just a level of scale that other alternatives can't do. Uh, there's very few sort of national or international uh, surveying and mapping companies. And the ones that are, are going to be prohibitively expensive. Um, with us, you get a very consistent level of quality, accuracy, um, speed, and service. So in, if you have any other questions on the scale, I can go deeper in, but that's uh, that, that's kind of the summary. In terms of who takes care of maintenance, we do. Um, and one thing I should have spoken to, actually, so I'm glad you broke that up or I brought that up, is if anything goes wrong with a drone, we take care of it. But as long as you uh, lease with us, the deal actually includes free upgrades, free software upgrades, free hardware upgrades. So it's not like a, a car where you're stuck with the 2014 model and you know, four years out, maybe there's a lot nicer stuff on the market. You're always going to have our newest, latest, and greatest model as we make uh, technological uh, advances, and we have a full engineering team uh, working on nothing but uh, day in and day out, you're always going to benefit from that and always going to have the latest model. Uh, if any of you have a, an iPhone or an Android, uh, just like when you get an operating system update on that, same thing happens with your drone. Um, we do, uh, we absolutely do site surveying, uh, so good question on that. And we had a question, have you ever performed work on a linear project, such as a pipeline, to obtain data for design purposes and uh, prepare alignment sheets? So yes, we, we've done pipelines, we've done highways, uh, we do a lot of uh, linear project work. Um, it's more well suited for it. Um, I'll actually take just one moment and I'll show you kind of a, a little more information on a project we did uh, for Kokosing. They were doing a, uh, a massive highway project. It actually cut through three mountains in Kentucky. And they wanted both to uh, chart the progress and sh uh, share it with their client and their leadership team. And you, you might have seen a moment of this in a previous video, but uh, this really gives you a sense of the, the scale. And we can do fly-throughs like this uh, on the data that we map. Um, just to give you kind of a, a feel for it, you know, those are cars down there. <laughs> so you can see how vast it is. Um, and they said normally, you know, the leadership, the clients wouldn't come out to the job site. They're just too busy or it would be too expensive. Um, but seeing this, they were really, really happy, really confident. It's a, it's a good marketing tool for Kokosing to kind of show people what they're capable of, to show the client uh, what, what's been done. And, uh, and again, just make sure everything's being done right. So, so we can do fly-throughs, and, and we absolutely do uh, linear projects. And if you want to pick up a certificate, um, the download certificate is just a little bit below. Uh, right, right below this, we have a full white paper on this uh, on this project that we did for Seneca. So you can download that white paper if you want to see the technical report that Spatial Analytics did. Uh, comparing our results to standard aerial uh, that's right below the white paper and then your certificate is right below that so that's all available um, in terms of the question will surveying companies purchase your services to enhance their service offerings or are you marketing directly to their customers the answer is both um, Plenty of surveying companies are using us as a tool to uh, rapidly capture information, uh, potentially to capture data in areas that are dangerous or that you wouldn't want to send a person. Maybe that uh, they don't want to go climbing <laughs> on top of landfills. Uh, they don't want to go on hazardous steep area or uh, in, in really rough temperatures or just be surrounded by dangerous power tools. And uh, we're a way to keep your, your staff safe and still capture that data. Um, so, you know, we're, we're working with both.
and uh, and we've had good results with both. In terms of how does the model get a reference uh, scale, um, that th that's something that's included. So, I mean, obviously you can zoom in and zoom out, um, but you know it that, that that that's just built in with the process. Um, I know you're all busy, but if you do have any other questions, I'd love to answer them. Uh, any questions that you have about your needs, about your um, specific use cases, I'd, I'd love to answer. And uh, just a sort of a quick reminder, if you think of things that you want to ask or you just want to go in deeper, please take a moment, hit the contact button uh, on our website. and. Uh, just let us know what use case you're thinking about, and our team will reach out to you uh, for more information. You can sign up for a demo uh, to kind of get a personalized experience uh, going through our software. Uh, or uh, my only other ask is if you can click that link to win a month of free drone surveying, um, and that's, again, right below and on the right of this under additional links, um, it'll help us know better what your needs are, um, how how we can address it better uh, and you stand a great chance to win a free month of surveying just like GI Consulting did. So I see one question. Uh, why would I select ID Tech over a company like Skycatch? Uh, you both have what appears to be a, a similar offering and approach. So good question. There's not a lot of companies out there doing um, automatic drone mapping. There's lots of drones but to actually have a system that will process the data, uh, analyze the data, um, do all of that is is pretty rare. Um, Skycatch is one of the few. Uh, they're West Coast based, and uh, I believe almost all their business is either sort of in the San Francisco area or they're doing a little bit in Japan right now. Um, so they're one they're they're really not available or accessible uh, to most people or most parts of the world. Um, and then the other thing is just sort of a difference in uh, mentality. Um, they're very product focused. We're very industry focused. So uh, we really have sort of latched on to mining uh, and then construction, particularly in the energy space, and we cater very directly to that. You get a lot of face time with us. We don't, uh, we don't currently white label or use resellers. Uh, everyone on our team knows the product inside and out. Um, so those are all benefits. Um, one of the biggest things, though, with them, they can show you where your product is today. We can show you where your product was where it is today and where it's going to be tomorrow. And that is incredibly useful. So we're not just telling you, um, you know, hey, you're, you're, you're at a five. We can actually show you progress, show you trends, show you that you're running behind, show you that you need to bring in more, more equipment or more team members to finish on time. Um, and that is something that's unique to our system. Uh, one other thing, I believe uh, they're pretty limited in their uh, range. Uh, I, I don't know the, the exact number, but call it 15 or, or 20 acres uh, per, per battery charge. Uh, we can cover over 150 per, and, and we've done sites uh, in the you know 100 mile <laughs> range on, on scale. Um, so th those are just a few things to, to keep in mind as you consider identify technologies versus alternatives. Um, so I, I hope I've answered your questions. They've all been really good. Um, again, I, if you think of anything else, uh, please do uh, contact us and uh, our sales team will be more than happy to uh, learn more about your needs and uh, see if we might be a good fit. And uh, I just want to thank you all for spending your morning with me. I know you're busy and your time is valuable. I, I hope you found it useful. Uh, I'll be sending out a recording of this webinar in, uh, in a day or two. So if, uh, if you did find it valuable, please consider uh, sharing it to some of, with your uh, coworkers or, or friends. Uh, you can access the white paper, technical report, and certificate uh, below. And uh, with that, I just want to wish you all a wonderful day and week ahead. And thank you for your time.